That's it. Vi är hemma hos familjen Bernstein där sonen Ari, 11 år gammal, har ADHD, ett funktionshinder som bland annat innebär koncentrationssvårigheter. This is what I mean by creative. Instead of making a house on the floor, you can make a sky a space house. Också Aris store bror har diagnosen ADHD, liksom pappa David. Och de är starkt kritiska till hur ADHD-diagnosen används idag i USA. What we need to do is expand our definition of what normal is. Kids that are ADHD and even dyslexic and even autistic oftentimes come packaged with incredible strengths. A huge percentage of CEOs, for example, have either ADHD or dyslexia. That means that they had an alternative brain that allows them to think about things in different ways. Och de låter sönerna själva avgöra om de ska ta medicin, vilket Ari för tillfället väljer att inte göra. I do think that it's overdiagnosed. I think there, I just, because of the side effects mostly, and that it um, oftentimes does really drain people and the, and the children of their of their personalities. Some of you took out some of the tools that we help us use during class, and I'm. Ari går i Siena skolan i Washington DC. Det är en skola för barn med inlärningssvårigheter eller skillnader som man säger här. Och där barnens behov av rörelse blir en del av inlärningen. So it is really important for them to have what we call a multisensory experience where they're using music and they're using visuals, they're using color and they're using movement, uh, not just sitting there and listening to words. When they're writing, we have a writing program that's color coded. Topic sentences are in green, examples are in yellow and analysis or explanation is in red. Och psykiatriken Peter Bregen leder kampanjen Sluta droga våra barn. Han anser att många skolbarn allt för lättvindigt får amfetaminliknande preparat för att bli lugnare i skolan och få bättre betyg. It doesn't meet any of the normal medical criteria for a diagnosis. ADHD is a list of behaviors that cause teachers problems in a classroom. There's nothing wrong with these kids. You're buying into a fake model. There's nothing wrong with our children. That's the key. The problem is we're not parenting well and we're not teaching well. Are you? What are you doing?